Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back. This is not the angle that you guys usually see. It's usually me behind it. But I had a few things that I wanted to show you and I figured it, was, it would be easier to do it um, facing the camera rather than being behind it. Um, so I get things in the mail, which is, which is so cool. And um, you guys are gracious. You send me surprise gifts sometimes. I'm like, I don't know what's in this thing, but it ends up being cool. Sometimes I know what it is. Some people say, hey, I've got this. I'm going to send it to you. And, and on and on. So thank you, number one, to all of my supporters. Um, if you haven't subscribed, that's a way to support me. So go hit the subscription button if you if you would. Um, don't forget the Facebook group, Hobby Nut Models, the Patreon, Teespring. All those things are ways to support me. But what I want to talk about right now is the, is the mail. And uh, so I got this the other day. There was a, it was another mystery package. So I was like, oh boy, what's in here? It's not the right size box. You never can tell. And um, anyway, it was uh, it was this. So tales of the rat fink. <laughs> so uh, Fred Gibbs sent me this, and Fred sent me a really nice note here that goes along with it. Um, he, he caught on to my lack of knowledge of who Rat Fink is, and he says, I'll fix that. I'll buy him a DVD, or or there's a, it, I haven't even opened it yet, but this is pretty cool. It's got all about Rat Fink, and I'm going to watch this. It's about Big Daddy Ed Roth. And anyway, Fred, I appreciate that. That is, a, that is really neat, and um, I, I will watch it. I promise you. I'll make my family watch it, too. I'm just joking. They would probably not watch it with me. And then there's another man. His name's Jeff Elliott. Jeff Elliott corresponds with me continuously on Messenger. Um, and he sent me um, the other day, and I forgot to even thank you, Jeff, but thank you. It was heavy. The box was like heavy. I'm like, what is in here? And he sent me, because see guys, I missed. Okay, so my, hot, my model car uh, experience started just like, five, let's just say five years ago. I dabbled in a little bit more. I did it when I was a kid. Just, the stories are so similar with everyone. Did it as a kid, quit, got back into it. Um, so let's just say I started to get serious about five years ago. At that point, it was just me sitting here piddling around with model cars and never went, went out and bought any magazines or anything like that. I knew there was a resource out there like model cars on, on a magazine. I never did, but anyway. Now that's gone. And I hear people talk about scale auto and things like that. And it's like, man, I really wish I'd have taken advantage of the, the remaining time uh, that they were producing magazines. And I didn't. But Jeff sent me a stack of scale autos. There's a, so I've got scale, this is the coolest one. This is 1987. Scale auto enthusiast. There's another scale auto. That one's from uh, 98. Scale Auto from '98. Guys, let me know if you in your in the uh, description box or the uh, comments. Do you have any these these exact ones? '95, '93, and then here's one. It's called Model Cars. And uh, thought this one was interesting. It's got like a Super B El Camino build. Somebody did. That's really neat. Um, and then here's Model Car Journal. Phil's Hobby Shop. Is Phil's Hobby Shop still open? I don't know. But anyway, Jeff Elliott, thank you so much for sending me these. There's a 95 issue of Model Car Journal. So I've got some stuff I can look at now and, and uh, go back and see, especially the one from 87, see times past for sure, how it's changed. and uh, It's just really cool. Thank you so much for that. I've got something else that I'm looking for. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, I've totally lost it. So that was a package from Jeff Elliott, and then here recently, I think yesterday, arrived in the mail a um, a package again, and I kind of knew that Jeff was sending something else, and I got it, and I got a t-shirt from Classic Plastic Model Club. So Jeff Elliott's Model Club up in, where are you, what, what state is it, Mar Massachusetts. Anyway, he sent me a, uh, a t-shirt, which was so cool. Uh, classic plastic. If any of you guys are a member of this club, 
uh, go in the comment box and tell me if you are. But anyway, I'll be wearing this in some videos. That's cool. Thank you so much. But Tim is the guy who sent this. So I forget Tim's last name, but it doesn't matter. Tim, thank you. Via Jeff, T Jeff asks Tim if he would send the t-shirt and some other things. And, Je and, and then Tim is a, uh, a, a manager or he works at a, an auto parts store and he sent me some other cool things in here from an auto parts store, just some little uh, knickknacks. And th this is a cool one. I just, I was like, what's in this box? It was in this little, well, I don't know if it's in the box. It doesn't matter. And I opened it up and it was like, let me get this focused. It's a brake rotor. It's a little miniature brake rotor and it's heavy. I mean, you would think that it was a real brake rotor for something really small, but it's got on there Auto Part International. It's got the name of that company, uh, Premium Parts and Expert Service. I thought, uh, how cool is that? It's just a miniature brake, brake rotor. So thank you guys. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Jeff. And there is something else. That I can't, I don't see. Um, okay, so, so I'm trying to look for it as I'm talking, trying to like stall, right? Someone sent me, here they are, found it. This place is a darn mess. Let me tell you what, it's a it's a mess. Um, it's just, that's all there is to it. I got too many model kits and not enough room. I mean, did I say too many model kits? I have a lot of model kits and I'm running out of space. That sounds a lot better. So I got this package in. It was an envelope. And in that envelope were some of these little little thingies called carburetors. Let me see if I can. There are uh, about eight. How's there? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight of these Dominator resin carburetors. Whoever sent that? Whoever sent this? Thank you. I don't remember. If we messaged, I don't remember. Your name's not on the envelope, but I really, really appreciate that. I'm going to put these to good use. Um, but yeah, they're those, they look a lot like the carburetors off of those pro stock cars. Big, huge barrels. Wow. Thank you so much for that. And again, I don't even know who you are, but um, in, put, hey, mention it in the comments that you, that you sent these to me. I really appreciate that. I hope I'm not missing anything else from the mail. But anyway, all right. Now, I think I covered it. Let's get into the video. Oh, I, for, I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, Tim also sent me a hat. Thank you, Tim. Die hard. Right there. Okay, so what you came here to see. All right, so I would imagine most of you guys know that Especially with an older kit when it's got this nice shiny plastic on it I'm, I'm I'm a stickler for leaving it on there I even get picked on okay so it's going so far now I'm getting picked on about it okay I was watching the model car guys on YouTube Lucas C and uh, BG and they were picking on me about how I was so particular I am okay I get it I am, I'm like nuts over this keeping plastic on these things. I recently got this kit and it's 1973. It's got a little, it's a little smoosh, but that's fine. It's completely okay, I'm sure. But this early iron, 19, 19 and 70, let's see, can I? Anyway. 1973 whatever oh it's upside down. so like I say I'm, I'm, I'm kind of nuts over this uh, the plastic thing but I'm going to I'm going to um, publicly do something that uh, makes me nervous um, some of you guys are probably like golly are you kidding me you're, you're scared to take the plastic off well you can only take the plastic off once um, then it's never a sealed kit again and uh, oh boy anyway what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm trying to compose keep my composure I'm going to open this kit and I'm going to compare it to its this is 1973 this is I believe 1991 yes so this kit came out in 64 it wasn't the early iron series, but it came out in 64. 
they released it another time or two and then in 73 it got this new look um, I just want to compare this this truck's got some some different things that this one probably doesn't have and I just want to, to, to uh, this one's already opened but I want to just want a side-by-side -side comparison I think it's cool but anyway um, yeah that's what I'm about to do okie dokie One. Oh boy. Woo! Starting to uh start to uh get the hyperventilate. Let me where's the brown bag at? Where's the brown bag so I can breathe into it? Oh man. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> there we go. Man, I cannot believe I just did that. It's, it's not that's that's my that's my whole issue it's never going to be a sealed kit again it's never and i think oh man oh goodness gracious struggling guys struggling okay here we go let's open this thing up nobody's ever been in it since 1973 it's older than i am okay so it's almost 50 years old so next year this is 50 years old and and literally i just just for the sake of you guys just for the sake of you guys I just busted it open. Okay, let's get the top off. And it's probably gonna be smashed. How would you like that? Oh my god. Yes. It's, the box is bent, so it's it's like, no, don't, don't do it. It's grabbing on for its last little last little bit to stay sealed. No, I don't want the light. I don't like it. Okay, you ready? There it is. Dang, it's not even in bags. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, because see, at least in you know this kit here, um, which this guy was really good. The guy I bought this kit from, he like would go in bag, but these are in, you know this is all in bags. Okay. Oh man. Look at that. It looks like a jumbled up pile of mess in there. It is just so. I guess these old kits, that's another reason why you can hear the, the plastic rattle so is because they're not, they're not, um, maybe they're not in plastic. All right, there's the chrome tree. Got the nice looking wheels, which are different, I think, than the ones that are in this other kit. Got, and it has a scoop. I don't, that's what I want to see. I want to see, like, what's the chrome tree? How does it look compared to that one? So that's really what I wanted to compare. Tires just strewn about inside there let's get her open and uh compare the the two so this is molded in black and orange so i guess you could do the you didn't have to paint it you just put her together glue it together and this kit has opening doors as well they've never seen light ever my camera does not particularly want to focus like it should See. the tires honestly look kind of modern if you, if you ask me they don't look like uh, tires that would have been in a uh, an older model kit I guess I'm because I'm trying to compare them to the, the uh, AMT you know how the old AMT uh, look they look like straight up mud grips you know for the street cars but there's the tires and the cool um, instruction sheet anyway let me let me just want to get this kind of open and uh, now let's see here's the windows let's start with the glass i believe it is exactly the same yes which no no you know no surprise there uh oh about to lose one 
No surprise, they're exactly the same. And and most of the parts I'm thinking are, are going to be identical. But I want to, I would, my curiosity is like the chrome, what's chrome? The chrome tree and what does it look like and what is it missing? Or what does it have? So here's the chrome tree. Okay. So they did use the same chrome tree, they just modified it to. Okay. So the the three twos or the three one barrels or whatever those are are the rims are different. Um, both of them have really nice looking wheels for sure. I said rims. Give me a break. Somebody got on to me and said the rims. That's not rims. The rim is the edge of the wheel. That's the wheel. I'm, I, okay, I always call them rims. When I was coming up, these were that was the rim. That was the tire. The rubber is the tire. That's the rim. Okay, wheels. <clears throat> so yeah, pretty much everything except up here. So right there, there's a bumper. This one doesn't have bumpers. So this has the bumper deletes, those little um, Nerf bar things, or whatever you want to call it. And it also has that scoop right there. This one doesn't have that. So if you lay it right on top of each other, pretty much everything is the same. You have two knockoffs here um, and two knockoffs over here too that you don't have. But pretty much, look at the little wrenches. See, it's got little wrenches and stuff. That's pretty cool. So yeah, pretty much everything is the same except for this area here. So it's got bumpers or it has a front bumper. And this one has the, the little... Um, bumper deletes all right and now i would like to look at where did my knife go the hood here okay the hood is different because the 91 truck has a hood that has louvers in it they're not open but it has louvers so you got the two different hoods here One's got louvers, and one does not. Honestly, I don't think I'd have to go through a whole lot because you're going to be the same. The interior is the same. Here's the tires. Let's see if they stayed the same. No, they did not. So they're different. Actually, I like the older ones better. So these are the rear tires. You get a lot wider tire with the older one. Pretty cool. But mainly this video was just to show you that I can do this. I can do this. Now I'm not gonna open all my sealed kits. Don't even don't even comment and say, so you're gonna open all those 48 Fords? No, because I got plenty that are open. I don't have to open those. Those will remain those will remain sealed until I until I so desire to you know, maybe look at one just, just like maybe if I get four, five, six more that are sealed, I might would open one and, and check it out. But yeah, this video was just, just to look at, <laughs> just so you could see that I would do that. And I wanted to compare the chrome tree because I know the rest of the truck is the same. All the, all the, uh, all the other parts, same engine, same, this tree here. I can I can see it right there. It's exactly the same thing. Same same kit. Uh, just a few minor details that are different. Does it have a bed cover? Um, I don't think it does. Okay, so this one has a bed cover. They both have the um, slats, wood slats for the bed. It's just this one doesn't have a bed cover. The red one doesn't, and this one does. So you could have used the bed cover if you so desired. Okay. All right. So that's great. You know what? Pause for a second. I've got something that I want to dig out really quick. Be back in just a split. Okay. So what, what I remembered is, so this tailgate here, see this tailgate is from my kit that I built back in the 80s. And that's all. That's all that I have at the tailgate. I don't know where the rest of it went. Have no earthly idea. Um, but yeah, there's the tailgate, and that has got paint on it from where I sprayed it on there 
from the 80s and that's really cool this tailgate has louvers which that's because i built the the uh street the one on the left from the not not the 90s it was the one from the 80s but anyway it's the same kit but it had louvers also in the um in the tailgate where the this one did not but anyway that just sparked a memory and i thought well let me grab that really quick because that's that's about all i got i mean there may be some other random parts laying around but yeah this is actually from from the kit that i built i don't know again i don't know what happened to that truck because the tailgate's missing i know most everything got burned up in a fire but not that all right guys okay so um this is a this has been an intervention um do i feel like now i want to just want to bust them all open no i don't feel like that at all um but it did it did it did feel good to be able to be able to look inside one that you know i i that, mm. Again, I don't want to give myself like too much leeway. I'll be I'll be going crazy on stuff. But, um, I forgot to open up the instructions to see if this, this, the pictures are the same. And yes, they are for the most part. So you see their engine uh, picture there is the same. The number two, which is really small, is much larger and they highlighted some stuff. Um, but yes, yeah, the same instructions. But the older one is much more detailed and looks better. Um, but I guess they save money on save money on paper because it's way smaller. Anyways, all right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thanks for just bearing with me sometimes when I just ramble and um, yeah. So uh, look at those cool flames out of the other one. But anyway, yeah, I just ramble on sometimes, and some people are like, focus. And uh, I don't know if they're talking about the camera or me. But anyway, I appreciate you guys. I really do. Um, I'm not just saying that. And yeah, everybody says I'm not just saying that. But really, I do. I appreciate the um, support that I have on this channel. And those who um, like like the mail call stuff. I mean, thank you so much. That is um means the world to me. To know that I've got people that... that um, are, are, are just watching my stuff i mean it's it's amazing that anybody would watch me really and I'm, I'm being sincere when i say that um just a regular guy coming out here looking at model cars and having fun but anyway thank you guys for all you do thanks for your you that have subscribed and again if you haven't please go hit the subscription button um don't forget to go to the facebook group go join the facebook group and show us your 44s uh, pickups or whatever else you may have Thank you for you guys who have supported me in my Teespring store, which is now officially called Spring. So my Spring store, you can get yourself a t-shirt, hoodie, mug, sticker, um, and whatever else you may find on there. Also, did I already say go to Hobby Nut Models and uh, check out Mark's inventory. Mark's got a lot of the new MCW paint colors. Go over there and check that out. I have great success with MCW paints and, uh, can't wait to start the next kit so I can paint it up with some great MCW paint. Also, Patreon. Um, I have the Patreon uh, page or whatever. Um, so go over there if you so desire. You can be a member of the Patreon. You can get uh, early access. Uh, you can get some behind the scenes stuff that uh, you may not see here on YouTube. Um, and I would greatly appreciate that support there as well. Anyways, enough rambling. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and until the next time, see you later. Take care.